Hi, uh, welcome to my channel Astro Journey UK. Uh, today what I'm going to be doing is uh, unboxing my new EQ6 Pro mount. Uh, basically I've upgraded from my EQ5 Pro mount um, because fundamentally my uh, Skywatcher 200p Newtonian telescope is uh, way too big for it. It's uh, sort of payload capacity for uh, astrophotography. Uh, it's fine for visual, but not for uh, for astro. So, um, yep, finally found the mount available on uh, Wex Photo and Video. Um, so uh, yeah, quickly uh, snap that up because uh, they're pretty rare at the moment. So we're uh, just taking quick look at the box and how it came um, generally pretty good you've got the uh, straps around it to keep it all in one piece um, it does look like it was uh, has been opened before though um, but uh, yeah other than that looks pretty good uh, so let's get it open so uh, time to uh, get into it so let's get the knife out So a box within a box. So although it looked like it had been uh, opened before, um, it does actually look like it hasn't been opened before. I'm not sure what that was all about, maybe they were just checking it. Oh this is uh, this is exciting. It's Counterweight. Um, so I assume this too is another counterweight. Yep. So they're both uh, five kilos, I think. They look like they're exactly the same as the ones on the. Uh, on the EQ5 as well, so if I need extra counterweights then I can uh, just chop and change those. Um, yeah, the plan is to not get rid of my EQ5 and just use it as a second setup, because um, that works quite well with my uh, Evo Star ATED Pro, because it's quite a light telescope, so uh, yeah, perfect for, for getting two imaging rigs um, in one night certainly required in the UK because we don't really get that many uh, that many clear nights. So. <laughs> I did wonder whether this box was actually big enough and it seems like they've only given me one box so that's really not good uh, basically all I've got is the tripod legs and the counterweight and that's it so I think I'll be right on the phone to um, Wex Photo and Video because I definitely don't have what I should have So uh, the last time I saw you, um, I had one box and uh, not the main box. Basically, it just contained the tripod and a couple of counterbalances or counterbalance weights. Uh, so I <laughs> spoke to the uh, company that I ordered this from and said uh, I'm missing something. Uh, after a while, they managed to locate the extra box and it came the next day. So uh, panic over. I was beginning to wonder I wasn't actually going to get this mount. Um, so let's open up. Uh, this box and what is going to be fundamentally in here is the, uh, the the main actual mount itself so get into here no concerns that this has been opened before Uh, 
definitely, definitely well packaged. Uh, so inside the box is an instruction manual, which uh, will probably remain sealed. With polystyrene, see that, so uh, the main mount itself. Uh, dust power bar. Which, to be fair, this is going to be really handy because um, I could have done with ordering one of these ages ago, and I've now got one for, well, not really for free, but quite a bit of money. Uh, these are the, not azimuth, the inclination bolts, I think. I don't know what you call them. Maybe I should read the manual. Uh, in here is a hole of some description. I guess I'll find out what that's for in a minute. Something quite nice about um, anodized aluminium. The uh, good old SIN scan handset controller here. Looks pretty much like any other SIN scan, although at the bottom there's a, um, a USB port in there, the main controller port, and the one that I have been using in the past, which is um, kind of a USB, but it's a, a, an RJ21 connector, I think it is. You've got RJ45, RJ21, and USB. And here we have. So the thing I love about these mounts, and I don't know why they do it, they don't give you a power supply. You need a power supply for this, yet they don't provide one. Um, <laughs> they, provide, they provide a cigarette lighter power supply, which is great if I was in my car, but actually I'm in my back garden, so that's actually useless. Um, here's a cable for the, uh, oh, interesting, I was going to say it's a cable for the hand controller that plugs in there, um, and I'm assuming that plugs into the mount, but I was surprised it was a uh, an RS232 port, but there you go. Uh, another bag with an Allen key and a little cable tidy thing, and well, this thing here is just basically to, uh, to hold the actual SIN scan controller on the uh, on the tripod legs. That now for the exciting part, although also the heaviest part. So here we have the, uh, the mount, so EQ6 Pro, uh, not the R version, but the uh, the, the non-R version. So the hand controller goes in there with the RS232 port, 12 volts input, uh, auto guider, which um, maybe I will or won't be using, I'm not too sure yet. Um, so typically I do the guiding through um, through the guide camera that then goes um, into uh, the laptop in PHD2 um, and then back to the mount. A house or power switch, which uh, feels quite solid. Um, and that's pretty much it, I guess. You've got um, there's the power alignment scope. Pretty much as expected. It kind of feels a bit more uh, feels a bit more sturdy and and like it's not going to get lost like the one on the EQ5. And then the 
kind of cover on the end. But I'll be putting my uh, pole master on that. And that's it. So I think what I'll do now is actually get the tripod out and just put it all together. Um, so with here you can see the um, latitude adjustment um, and there's a nice big arrow on this mount um, which is a lot clearer um, and then you've got uh, just here if I can kind of get to that got a little level uh, bubble there looks like it's a lot better than the one that I've got on my mount as well at the moment um, whereby somehow it just wasn't actually telling you that it was level at all um so that's pretty much it for this video today um as is typical um whenever you get some new astrophotography equipment uh the weather is uh, not great it's cloudy and um even though we've had some really good weather recently it's not going to be good enough for imaging tonight so um hopefully over this weekend i should be able to get this out and uh, yeah see how it performs I'll try with um, with my Evo Star 80 ED Pro um, and also the Skywatcher 200P um, Newtonium, which is uh, which is basically going to be putting this through its paces because it's quite heavy with that the astrophotography camera um, and also the guide scope and guide camera as well. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for future updates. Thank you for watching.